Hi there guys! So, I know I said that I was going to be posting um, a video every week or so. Um, school got in the way and job and blah and stuff in the way. Um, so, I'm doing it now. Second video. Woo! Um, it's actually a important video, sort of. Um, on Facebook, I got a message from this sweet, wonderful... Um, girl asking me how I made my Aries cosplay. Um, this has been, this is the first time that I've ever had someone ask me how I made a cosplay before. Um, it's very, very flattering and thank you so much if you're watching this. So, yeah. Um, my Aries cosplay. Um, let me move this down just a bit. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Where'd you go? Come on. There we go. So, oof. There we go. Okay. So, my Ariel's cosplay actually took um, a little longer than I'd hoped it'd be. Um, my sewing machine broke right in the middle of me sewing this here. Um, and I had a hand sew the rest of it. So it did take much longer than I hoped it would. I was literally working on it till the day before. No. I worked on it the day of UB Minicon where I premiered it. Um, so yeah. Uh, some of it is hand sewn. Some of it is machine sewed. Some, is it, some of it is glued, unfortunately. Um, I never like gluing costumes together, but shit happens. So, um, basically, the dress itself comes to about, I'd say, mid-thigh, right, right above where the booty line is. Um, that's a bit of a wrong term, but it was basically right up to my ass. Um, let me see if I can turn this. There we go. Um, the back, the fabric itself, let me see this, the fabric itself is somewhat see-through. Um, I had on when I was wearing it a white cami, um, and some white Spanx, so things weren't seen. Um, it really doesn't matter if you find better fabric or not. Um, but this, that's what I have. It's the fur to make it look like her cotton. Oh my god, the light. Let's see, is that in better? Oh, a little better. Um... The fur itself um, is like a little swirl. It looks like cotton and it's really, very nice and really, really soft. Um, but yeah, what is sewn is basically all through the bust up here. Um, what I have is just a strapless bra that I sewed it to. Um, just the bra I used for this was a 40 triple D. That's my size. Um, I'm fairly large. And it's still very, very hard for me to actually be held up well. So, yeah. Um, yes. So that's all hand sewn. Um, this part here, this line, if you can see it right here, um, is hand sewn slightly and glued the rest. Um, and then, this actually should be so glued. Um, so... Right about here, where this folds over, there is a small hook that um, connects up to here that'll stay in under the bra. Um, yeah. But yeah, it basically, it's just a bra where the dress is connected to. Um, it's just much easier for myself to just be held in, let's say that, uh, held in. Um, sorry, music playing. <laughs> yeah, just being held in is really nice. Um, depending on the size of your chest, I'd say use a bra. Um, I stupidly used my only strapless bra for this dress, so I had to go get a new one for just different costumes. <laughs> so yeah, um, use like an old bra or just one where you know you won't use it. Um... So yeah, that's a good thing to do. Um, if you're smaller, I'm not 
sure what you should do. I'm I'm just I'm a very busty cosplayer. Let's say that. Um so yeah. The pom poms. Let's see if I can pull this up. Pom poms. They're just two pink pom poms, both on each side, and some blue ribbon that I found, which that is coming apart and I need to fix that. Um so yeah, that's that. That's the dress. Um yeah. It just hemmed at the bottom to the right length. Um ah. yeah. neck piece. Uh this is her neck piece. It's very similar as to how you make a tail, like if you need tail, um, let's say for example, a tail for Homestuck. This is where I learned to do this. Um, it's very similar to how I made um, this thing, the mulein tail and the peta tail. It's just um, a piece of fabric sewn inside out and then um, pulled through to make it right side in and then uh, sewn together at the end here. Uh, this took a very long time to get right. Um, especially um, having it comfortable and looking looking nice. Uh, where are those hooks? Yeah, right there. But basically the neck piece, like I said, it's just the piece of fabric sewn inside out and then right side in, then stuffed. Um, the way that it stays, if I can get it, um, they're just two more hooks. Um, because of the fur, they don't stand out as much. And it just sits nicely. You have to... It'll hook together in the back. You just have to measure, like, just adjust it to your neck as needed. And then just the hooks come off. So, it's fairly simple. I'm just so... I'm used to sewing this kind of piece. Um, arm pieces. So, the arm pieces were not difficult, but kind of annoying. Um, so basically, the arm piece is about mid-wrist to just about here. So, depending on how long your arms are, it's different. Um, the piece where it's up here has elastic sewn into it, um, so that it kind of has that strength to stay up and not keep riding down. And then the piece on your uh, palm is just um, lightly sewn together. Um, doesn't matter if it moves or not. Uh, when you put it on, do -do -do, um, the palm should rest about there. And this will come all the way up to here. And it's just an arm sock, basically. So yeah, that's that. It's really, really comfy and really, really soft. Um, boots. Boots, boots, boots. I was lucky enough to have a pair of, um, boots that fit, that looked like the right size and just fit really, really well. Um, so with coating them in the fabric, while I did, I had the, um, boot on while I was doing it so that the fabric sit on the right way while it was on my, um, foot and on my um, calf. Um, so yeah, I just coated it. I lightly sewed, I sewed the top here together um, and then I glued the pieces together that were just pulling it in, making it tight, uh, making it look nice. Um, two more pom-poms. I actually had to buy three bags of different colored pom-poms from AC Moore, I think. AC Moore, just to get enough of those pink pom-poms because they're right size, right color, and it was just... <sighs> I have three bags of pom-poms in my drawers waiting for me to use, which I will never use. Um... Oh, socks. Um... Where's the other one? Over here. Hello. Socks. Um... The brown socks, which are just the one right after the boot, are just two pairs of brown um, calf socks I bought from Kohl's. Those work. They're just the few pieces I actually bought. The yellow socks. These things of horrid, horrid 
things. Um, Aries yellow stocking socks thing go up to her calf not her calf her thigh um i have very very large thighs so that wasn't going to happen for them to actually stay and the ones that i had found or had just would not stay or would not take the dye which is so awful so much yellow dye so luckily i found these they were Better than most I found, um, but they still wouldn't stay. So what I did, I cut the foot part out. So I just cut it. So when I have it on, uh, this part here goes up to probably my ankle, I'd say. And then I cut the top off. Just a little bit, um, because when I got it, it had like this really thick elastic on it and it wouldn't go past my knee um so yeah that's that so it's a much much stretchier now um it goes a little past my knee which is nice um just with my height it looks good it was originally cream creamy creamy white when i got it um so i let it soak in yellow dye the liquid part for overnight and then I let it soak in the dye that it soaked up in a plastic bag for, I'd say, three or four days. Um, hand washed it gently. And then dried it, washed it one more time, and then dried it. And then it turned out like this. Um, it's a very pale yellow, I'd say. Um, yeah, it's a very pale yellow. Not as bright as yellow as her socks, but they still look really, really good. Um... Oh, wig and horns. Right here. Wig and horns. Do not mind the face. Um, so, with this, honestly, if I did not have this wig current, um, previously, I would not have cosplayed Aries, to be honest. <laughs> um, oh, this is not that much. Oh, it doesn't. Oh. Well. Okay. I just realized it doesn't have a hole at the bottom. Where did I get this wig head? Sorry about that. Um, so yes. The wig and the horns were probably the most simple part of it. Um, I actually had had horn these horns previously. They were um, Aries horns, so they were originally much larger. So I cut them down, kept the point on, oof, kept the point and just added a little bit more um, clay here to make it just look like it's popping out. Um, and then just uh, painted it a different color. I actually have to uh, paint it more here and here um, to make it look a little better and more brown. And I have to add her stripes. So, yeah. Um, and then the wig was actually a previous wig of a cosplay that I wish I did not do. Um, I cosplayed Pinkie Pie in 2013, so last year. Yeah, last year. Um, so I had that wig. So it is very, very curly, very, very bouncy. So I cut that wig just to where I need it. And it just turned into like the perfect Aries wig. Ugh, it's so fluffy and bouncy and curly and ugh. So yeah, that's the wig. So, now with the horns, like it's, they look like they're floating, right? But they're not. Um, with previous experience at being a Homestuck, and specifically a Homestuck troll cosplayer, um, I learned secrets. So what I did was I attached the horns to a headband, if you can see here. Um, and then I used a screw to attach the horn to the headband and pop the screw through the wig through one of the, um, wefts. Um, the horns itself, they're really, they're very, very heavy. Um, how I made the horns were, originally I made a base, a, a, the, um, a wire base, just the shape of it, um, put tin foil around it to get it that, um, right shape and the right size, and then paper mache 
and then clay. Um, I like using clay over foam or paper or just anything else just because it's heavier, stronger, and like the texture of like the cracks. I just really love cracks and horns. Um, but the clay makes it very, very heavy, unfortunately, which is like the one downside to it. Um, and when I first cosplayed Ares, um, I stupidly did not, um, put, uh, foam or, like, fabric where the horn, where the, um, screws are. And I had two bruises on my head, both here and here. They still hurt for about two weeks. Um, I had a major, major headache at the end of the con. And was very contemplating of just tossing my wig. <laughs> so yes, I will be adding um, fab, like foam things to where the screws are, which are important. Um, so that's about it. Um, when did I start? I started Aries. I'd say. Um, Maybe halfway through October and finished it the 15th of November. Um, so it took about a month. I had school. I had work. I was mainly mainly doing it um, after school, on the weekends, whenever I had time. Um, but I was working on it right up to the con right up to the meetup convention thing. Um, but yeah. This was actually my first um, cosplay I made fully by hand. Um, the only thing I really had bought that I used in the costume other than the wig um, were the great brown socks colors. Um, yeah, and it's just really, really... <sighs> I was so happy that I was able to cosplay her. Um, Basically, from the time that I started watching anime, which was about, was it, it was 2011 that I started watching anime and then found Fairy Tale around the same time. Um, so it's been about three years since I've been, I wanted to cosplay Ares. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. Where is it? Hold on. Oh, the belt. I forgot her belt. Oh, I almost forgot that. Oh, thank you, backstory. So, <laughs> her belt. Um, basically this, when I first wanted to cosplay Ares three years ago, I bought this belt. It was really cheap, and it was the perfect color, and that. So, what I did was, um, if you can see here, it's really, really ugly. I cut off the actual, oof, I cut Really? I cut off the actual belt part, like the loop and this stuff. And I glued it together along with this, which is basically, I don't even know if I have the other piece around, um, just a foam circle, um, about, about that big, with just the airy symbol on with, uh, fabric paint, and just blue fabric around that foam circle. And I just glued it together, made it the right size, and it fits, and it's just wonderful. I don't know why I did that. Oh, I almost forgot that. Oh, that would have been awful. That's a key part of it. Um, yeah, so, back to backstory. <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, yeah, three years ago. Three years ago, I wanted to cosplay Aries, but at the time, I was a junior or senior in high school. I hated, absolutely hated my body. Um, I was made, I was being made fun of for being fat and ugly and blah, 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 blah. Typical high school teasing. Um, so I literally had no confidence in my body. Move forward three years to now, I'm so confident in my body. I'm so happy with the way that I look, even though I am larger. The way that my body is just structured and how tall I am and just the way that like my bones are and body 
I don't look the size that I act this weight that I actually am, which is a little helpful but kind of annoying because people think you're skinny when you're not and yeah. Um I lost my chain of thought. <laughs> um So yeah. Um so I have more confidence in my body. Um I have more confidence in my sewing skills and there is something in my eye. Um Yes. So I just have more confidence in the way that I look and the way that I sew and my skills and all that and just so many factors came together for me to finally, finally be able to cosplay Aries. She was one of the first costumes I ever wanted to cosplay, let alone make. I didn't want to buy her cosplay. She was such a big part of a fairy tale in my life and she's so adorable and cute and oh I love Aries. Um <laughs> I lost my train of thought, I'm sorry. Again. Um Oh yeah, Aries. Um But yeah. And it just I never expected this much love for this costume. Normally, you would think, Aries, she's very, very tiny, very, very, very tiny. You'd think that tiny people would cosplay her, but I've seen so many larger girls cosplay this petite little thing, and it's just so wonderful, and no one gets picked on, and just, ugh! So I've heard a lot, a lot of just wonder, wonderful, wonder, wonderful, that's a new word, wonder, wonderful. Just wonderful feedback about my costume and no hate and just love and oh, I'm so excited for OhioCon. I'm getting off track here. So, I'll stop this here. So, to the girl that messaged me on Facebook, that's how I made my Aries cosplay. Um, yeah, thank you so much for asking me that. Um, I'm hoping to get this posted soon. Um... But yeah, thank you so much again. Um, if anyone else has any more questions, um, I'm going to, let's see, it's about a month from now. So in a couple weeks, um, I will be making a video for OhioCon about the cosplays I'm doing. Um, I think, maybe, I'm going to run a photo shoot. Um, I don't know yet. I'm not all that good at running stuff like that but we'll see how that happens um what else oh it's winter break hell yeah so I will be making more videos um yeah I probably post stuff from New Year's because party I'm getting a party at my house Woo. <laughs> I'm getting off track again from this video which is just meant for this cosplay but it turned into not um so yes, that's about it. Um, questions, comments, uh, you can do it on my Facebook page, my Tumblr page, or here. Yeah. Bye, guys.